Hey, how about a day's in for $100 a night on the side of the interstate just outside of Nashville? I told him I wanted the nicest room they had. Yeah, something like that. So we got us a king suite. Wow, that dude's so fun. Here, yeah, that's a good one. And uh, non-smoking, but they, I literally did ask. I was like, give me the nicest room you got because it's $100 a night. So here we go. Well, it smells freshly painted. I have stayed here before, but I stayed upstairs in another room. And it was all right, so I guess they maintain it pretty well. The uh, floors aren't all that great, though. So you can get a nice little window unit air conditioner, a place to flop your stuff. A mirror, so you can sit there and look at the camera while you're, you know, looking at yourself. Fridge, that works. Microwave, that works. TV, that, I think it works. Oh, yeah, it works. You get, looks like coffee, and ideally, your hand's got the tube. Oh, there's some shampoo and conditioner. And a mirror to see me as if you weren't already watching me. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, I got Erica. Ooh, these towels are really nice. Iron ironing board, and it's all flowery print. And this is thin as to be. Oh, it's literally a pillow. Straight up a pillow. I'm gonna sleep good. I think the clock's crooked. I'm going to sleep. Well, my phone updates. And I really hope. Oh, wow. I didn't know it had a fan. I am. I'll see y'all at like two in the morning. Me is dead. By the way, these towels, 100% amazing. Shower, good to go. Water pressure was 940 billion PSI because it could basically jet the whatever off of you. But, uh, and it was like Satan's bathtub, but yes, yeah, it's, it's good to go. Anyhow, I ended up sleeping on this side of the bed because that side of the bed was way, way, way too soft. I like, it was like all the way down. It was like, I don't know cloud of air which i thought was going to be good but it turned out i didn't like it they gave me a balcony room right not bad if you were the parking lot the rain the trucks oh yeah by the way i'm in carlisle pennsylvania at a uh, day's end that i've done before oh shit the door didn't shut sorry hold on i might have messed up i shouldn't open that okay i'm not gonna open that again Okay, so this is one of the crappier hotels I've ever stayed at. And that's okay, because I'm going to show you all of it. Because I got a minute. More than a minute. But uh, we're going to look around. It's the first time I've been on the second floor. Let's look at the pool from the second floor. Yeah, don't mind this. This is just trash. Ooh, that's spongy. The pool, right out there and beautiful. Ready to dive in. It does have a smoking area out there, though. Every single bit of this is actually on level. Like this is three separate buildings, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it's like weird because you feel it's good thing I'm not drunk, but they do have a bar here. And that's why I stopped because I want a damn beer. They have laundry machines over here. And as you can tell, it looks awesome. I mentioned it's raining outside. I think that's pot. See what I mean? <laughs> floor is low. Mm -hmm. Went the wrong way. I was supposed to go this way. I don't think that works. All right. So, we got a king bed. It's only 56 bucks a night. I ain't going to complain much. Microwave works. Fridge. Kind of works. TV works. I think last time I was here, I ended up sitting there and I was here for a little bit. So, I ended up watching TV and it actually worked. Very thin comforter. Ooh, all that. Oh, they're really super comfortable, man. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. This one's not like fluffy like last night. This one's actually like solid but comfy. 
You have the old bathroom, you get the nice mirror, you get a washcloth and a, yeah, that's all right. And a shower head that I can get under. And yeah. I feel like I need to be giving y'all more than just me walking around a room. Like, maybe I need to go seek out some of these really, really bad hotels and like do the best and the worst of a town or something like that. Is that something y'all wouldn't want to see? Because that was my wife's idea. I'm not saying no to it. <sighs> this ironing board, though. Man, this is awesome. Okay, I'm going to go eat something. You know, Waffle House down the street. Hey, I guess you can call that a business center. Yeah, I'm going over there. The bar area. Like patio for smoking is down there. Yeah. I got my days in shot. Now I got to go get my Waffle House. I slept very good. There's no coffee in the room, so I had to go down the hall to the front to get this. It's cold, so I didn't turn the heater on. And it smells like it's about to burn everything off. Okay, place is kind of dirty, but, you know, it was cheap. And I really, I don't know. I, I do both. I stay in dumps and I stay in nice hotels. Like, so it just depends. Like, yeah. Okay, so uh, I didn't say it, but the, uh, whenever I got up this morning, I left. I just felt icky. Like that whole thing, I felt icky about it. And uh, so, yeah. I don't know why. I just I don't really like that hotel. So. But anyway, I'm at the airport, Newark, and I'm actually going up to Burlington and picking up a set of trucks. I almost went into a hurricane, changed that load real quick, so now I'm going over towards Illinois. <sighs> Gotta go. Welcome to Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, that's about it. No. Don't no. stop. Don't stop yelling at me. Well, I gotta go down here, pick up my bags, give me an Uber, and uh, go to the border and pick up the truck on this side of the border, take it to Chicago. Not actually going to, uh, not going to a hurricane. That's the good thing. stop at a quality inn in Plattsburgh, New York. It's $107 and they only show they got double queens, but there ain't a whole heck of a lot of places up here to be able to park a truck. So we're going to go ahead and pile up here. There's a uh, super expensive, stupidly expensive, did I mention a stupid expensive uh, steakhouse next door? And that's about all there is to eat within walking distance. I mean, there's something about a mile down the road, but I can't get into the day's end, so I can't hear. It's getting long winded. Okay. We're gonna check out the room and try to check in. Oh, I sold the kidney to eat in there. 30 bucks for a chicken sandwich. Actually, it's 25, but I did because, you know, well, okay, it was a little closer to 20, but it's still, I paid 30 bucks. I wonder if there's still a guest here. All right, so we got us a double queen bed. The, uh, I did the flop for the short clean bed. It's super comfy. Fridge works. Microwave works. TV works. This chair is actually really comfortable though. And they uh, they have a directions for how to use the shower. Including to put the curtain inside. Towels are typical inside. Listen, I'm tired. I gotta try to run another thousand miles tomorrow. I don't wanna, but I gotta try. That is all of the last month's worth of uh, tags to check my bags. Yeah, that I just put in my bag just in case and 
I know it's on the app, but they still, I, I, I like paper. So, but yeah, I'm gonna clean them out once in a while. I'm awake. I don't want to be. Well, I'm awake. And, uh, yeah. Shower time. That's got to be annoying for everybody else. And me a little bit. Yeah, I'm out. Shower was good. Bed was good. The towels were yeah, normal. It's a normal quality in. There's, there's more consistency in quality ends, I feel. Hey, it's 3 a.m. Okay, go. Also, the wild hogs have their uh, tarps on their bikes. Don't want them to get wet. Well, guys, I'm running down the New York tollway right now, and uh, I'm on my way to Chicago. But uh, I figure we probably should leave this one off here. It's probably getting pretty long. I mean, freezing up, right? And uh, we'll pick you up on the next ride. Later. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. I actually ran out of diesel. Um, I'm literally right in front of the gloves. You know, I ran out of diesel before I made the turn. Second time in my life. It was kind of funny.